last case was crazy, man. I, I, I was about to lose my mind, you know. It was, it was like all, all like a dream, bro. It was like a, I, I know you're not knowing what I'm talking about, but it was like a, it was like a dream. You had to been there. What? What's your problem, dude? Like, every time that I say anything, anything at all, you think it, there's a problem. My problem is, I just want you to stop saying odd crap. Okay? Can we just have a normal conversation without you talking about dreams and mystic things and cryptics in the wind? No, listen, man. That cryptic wind stuff, that stuff was real. I went to a tarot card reader. She told me that if I didn't go there, I was going to die. I was, I literally was on the edge of death, okay? Like, that's not funny. You shouldn't even joke about that. That tarot card crap didn't save your life. I saved your life because I shot that tweaker while you were running, screaming about the wind was in bad ways. Whatever you want to believe, man. Okay, now you could say that I ran away, but there was a demon there that night, and it was inside that man. He needed to be exercised, okay? This stuff is real, all right? The point of the matter is, I just want you to stop saying weird crap. Now get in the truck. I'm getting in the truck, Elijah, dang! different note. Did you at least sleep good last night? I don't sleep, Elijah. I dream. day and everything, but I'm really sick and tired of sitting here. Me too. Because there's literally nobody that goes up this road. I think I've counted at least 10 cars. In the, in the last hour? Yeah. <sighs> we need a call. Yeah, we need something. Thank God. Unit 101 is in or out. Can I help you? Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. Are you, uh, Juliana Moran, the one that made the distress call? Uh, yes. Sorry to bother you, ma'am, but my name is Officer Jeffrey Shepard, and this is my partner, Officer Elijah Flowers. How are you doing? We're with Hollow County Sheriff's Department. We've we got to ask you some questions about the distress call that you gave us. Well, it it's what I told the lady on the phone last night. I'm pretty sure there's somebody here. 
messing with me or so, I, I don't know I literally just got here last night uh, I'm just running this for a couple of days I'm out of town I, I, I just need you guys to come check it out and make sure everything's okay so let me get this straight so you're renting out this Airbnb for a couple of days and you believe that there is someone stalking you in this Airbnb is that correct yes look I, last night, when I was laying down, it, it sounded like somebody was messing around in, in the closet or something, and I, I was looking around to see if anybody was actually here, just to calm myself down so I could go to sleep, and it literally felt like somebody was breathing on me, and I swear I was seeing stuff. I, I just need y'all to check to make sure everything's okay. Well, uh, ma'am, we can look around if you want to, uh, if you'd like. Does anybody live upstairs? Uh, yeah, actually, that's who I'm running this from. Stephanie Grady, if I remember correctly. Um, I tried to talk to her this morning, and I, I never got an answer, so I don't even know if she's here. Oh, yeah, Miss Grady. She's a really nice lady. You remember her? How could I not forget? She gave us two complaint calls last week. Do you not remember that? Last week? Yes, last week. Remember about the kids and trick or treating? Oh, like, week yeah. Before, like, yeah. Yeah, she's something else. Yes, that, that'll be very helpful if you guys could come and check. Make sure everything's okay.
Well, we checked everything. Everything's fine. Well, thank you guys for coming to check, but are you are you sure there's nothing there? So we did talk to Miss Grady upstairs. She said nothing was wrong except she did hear you scream last night, which should be a concern. But no, everything's fine. When people scream, that's usually concerning. So, I mean, but nothing was here. Nothing that we saw. Anyways. Yeah. But. You should be make, okay. Yeah. But to make you feel any better, also, we will come back in tomorrow morning to check out to see how's everything going. That would be really appreciated. Thank you guys for coming out and making sure everything's okay. But um, I, I will be leaving tomorrow morning. So if nobody answers, that's one of the reasons why nobody would be answering, because I'm gone. Well, if you ever need anything, just call the police department and we'll uh, make sure we head down here and take a look. Okay? All right. Y'all have, have a stay. Have a uh, happy Halloween. It's a uh, Halloween guest 103. Thank you. You check out. Uh, yes, thank you. We are sending a patrol out to check on the alarm. Okay, thank you so much. Of course, miss. Um, how long will the cops be here? They are about three minutes out, so they should be there any minute now. Okay, thank you. Um, how long did you say it was going to be again? They will be there shortly. Okay. So, how do these alarm systems work? Well, the real question is, did you lock me out or in? <laughs>
why are we coming back here again? We just told her yesterday that we'd come back and check up on her. I thought it was because you liked her. No. It's because our job is You to said come. that in the truck. Yeah, she was cute. But it doesn't matter. We gotta come out and check on her. We there could be something wrong. Okay. Yeah, they do. Knock on the door. Really? You couldn't just knock three times? You yeah, fancy man. Hey, knock on the door again. Juliana, it's Officer Shepard and Officer Flowers. Can you please come to the door? I guess she's not here. She did say that she might be gone before. That's true. Well, 